Hello guys, welcome to a new series called Things We Like, which is just Jake and, and Aiden's podcast, basically, but it's on YouTube. So, we're going to be discussing different topics while we fight in Fortnite, and we're going to try our hardest not to talk about the Fortnite. Uh, definitely go and leave suggestions in the comments, things we should talk about. Tell us if you like it or you don't like it. Tell us if you like or hate it. Stop or if we should stop or keep going. This is an experiment. This whole thing is. So yeah. Today we are going to be talking about NFL and draft. The whole talk. It's like drafts and trades that might happen. The whole thing in general, while we fight like this with some gameplay. Okay, let's get right to it. So, I think, um, I'm very happy that the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, but Aiden, do you think they can do it again? Oh, yeah. I think Without, so, as well. Without, uh, Tom Brady on AFC, I have a good feeling that we are going to go over and over until some worthy contestant, actually, wait, is, hold up, I can't remember. Remember Isn't what? the Bengals on AFC? I I don't know, but I know that Joe Joe Burrow is a threat. Is, I'm scared yeah, of him. Yeah, he is not gonna go down without a fight. He was really the good. best quarterback in college, but gladly we got a running back in college yeah. from uh, LSU. Mm-hmm. Yep, he's good. I don't. And by we, have... we I mean like the Chiefs. Yep, and we got um, Tyree Kill, otherwise known as the Cheetah. We got Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. We got Travis, Travis Kelsey. Kelsey. I'm wearing his jersey right now, actually. The and Chiefs then, should actually sponsor us. Yeah, they should. Give us uh, premium tickets to every game. Mm -hmm. That's that would exactly be what should happen. That would be awesome. That would be the best. But back to... Uh, thing um what do you feel about this it's a new trade rumor Juju Smith Schuster no leaving way. the Pittsburgh Steelers and going where uh they're just trying to find a home for him so is he a free agent right now is he just thinking about it I I think he's thinking about it Oh wow, that's really cool. The Steelers went from good to bad in r one year, <laughs> just like the Patriots will. You think so? Well, in my opinion, yes. The Patriots. Do you think Tom Brady and Gronkowski are gonna be really good together on the Buccaneers? Um, they are old people. Yeah, I mean, uh, old that for old, football. Like... And um, Gronk always gets hurt. He always gets injured. With the Gronk slam. Mm -hmm. It's just his play style, I think. He, like, runs right into people. Yeah, and he always hurts his shoulder back area. Yep. I think Tom Brady is sort of, I think, in my opinion, kind of, like, losing what he used to have just because he's getting older. Oh, and tell if you if you guys want to see a live stream of this so you can talk lively. Yeah, and you can chat with us. Yeah, and tell us your opinions. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like, in my opinion, I feel like the Bucks are very hyped up this year. Yes, they are, and I think they might not uh, live up to the hype, which I'm actually yep. kind of hoping for because then my Chiefs can make it to the Super Bowl again, hopefully. So, favorite team on the AFC is the Chiefs, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Well, my favorite team. Yeah. Uh, Jakin's favorite team. Uh, favorite team on NFC is Saints for me. Yeah. Because when I was, like, zero. Zero? Not, um, <laughs> not one, but, like, young, <laughs> like, really, like, still a baby. Yeah. Um, my oh. grandpa got me a Saints jersey with the number oh, nice. zero, and it had my name on the back. Wait, NFC is, uh, like, wait, Saints and, um, 
Aren't the Saints and like the Redskins in the same thing? I forget. The same division or uh, NFC? Uh, NFC, right? Yeah, the, yeah. Redskins are oh, NFC. I, I like the Redskins. I'm pretty then. sure. The best. Just because I live in DC. Or I live next to it. I don't live directly in it. But yeah. Anyway, um, I heard about another trade rumor. I think that, and I don't know if this one will happen, but um, Odell Beckham Jr. going to the 49ers. To the I mean, f Niners? I, I thought he was leaving the Browns, but I didn't know he was going to. Oh, the I Niners. I, I thought you the, said Steelers. Oh, <laughs> I think that's the team he wants to go to. I don't know if he'll end yeah. up going there, though. I mean, that's like the team they that got he wants really to good up. players, but they could just not defeat the Chiefs, the comeback mm -hmm. kings. Yeah. We came back every single. Even in the uh, Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. I was at a restaurant. Every single time that round. I was at a restaurant with my mom and my dad when the Chiefs came back against the Titans. And the whole restaurant just like blew up. It was crazy. Against the t oh yeah the Titans. the Titans. The Texans was the best comeback ever. That was awesome. Well, not ever, but like a really good comeback. Yeah, it was a really like, good comeback. Really good to watch. Mhm. Mm Even if you're like not a Chiefs fan, but if you're a Texans fan, I wouldn't suggest uh, taping that or anything. Yeah. Um Oh dang it, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah. So I think George Kittle in the Super Bowl was like really overhyped. I don't know why, but like I feel like he didn't live up to what everyone thought he would. Um Wait, I don't I don't even know their running back. Did they George even Kittle? use their running back? No oh. running back. I know George Kittle was like isn't he like a tight end? Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I think Travis Kelsey definitely did better this than him. way better. But top three in the league right now, since Gronk's back, is probably Kelsey, Kittle, Gronk. and Gronk. In order, it'd be Kelsey, Kittle, Gronk. You think so? Yeah. I think it would be Kelsey, Gronk, Kittle. I think... When oh Gronk, yeah, yeah. Gronk would make sense because he's played longer. Yeah, and he's really good. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Uh. Uh. What would? See. Right now, what would be your, like your, if you made the team with all the players you have right now, what, who would you have in your the spots? Um, well, I think for a QB, I'd stick with Mahomes. He's really good. And then... Okay, wide receiver one. Uh, Tyree Kill. And then... Uh, I don't... I don't know. Um... Oh, my God. I forgot his name. Who's, like... Who's that one wide receiver, and he was really good? I, I completely forgot his name. On what team? Um, the the um the Chiefs. Chiefs, uh, the other one. Yeah, the other uh, one. There's a bunch. There's a bunch. There's, there's a bunch. Sammy Watkins. Yes, Demarcus Watkins. Demarcus Robertson. Watkins. Watkins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Sammy Watkins, Tyreek Hill, because I like them. I know them. And then uh, I think tight ends. I would have. Uh. Definitely Travis Kelsey. I think Rob Gronkowski. And then... You would pick Rob over Kill right now? Yeah, I think I would, honestly. Because... I, I would back then, but I don't think right now. He's going to be rusty. I mean, maybe, but maybe not. I mean, I think he's, like... Yeah, he suffers from injuries sometimes, but I think he's going to bounce back and be just as good. No, but he, d he didn't play that last year, so he might be a little rusty. Yeah, I think he might be a little rusty, but I think he might, after a few games, like maybe one or two, 
Did you guys see that play from Go George Kittle? It was like last game of the season against the Saints. They were holding his face mask, and he was still running. Like, they jumped on his back. It was like three, four of them. They jumped on his back. He was. They were holding his face mask and everything, and he was still gaining yards even though flags were flying. Yeah. I haven't seen that. It was insane. Wow. I was, I it was like insane, I give him that, but I liked the Saints, so I was rooting for him, and I was really mad. Oh, really? I think teams that I have connections with would be the Redskins, uh, the Chiefs, the Seahawks, the, um, I'm trying to think of some more. Oh, any of the Florida teams, so the Bucks, the Jags, the Miami Dolphins, uh, because my dad was born in, Mis or was born in Florida. Wait, I'm, I'm dumb. What do you mean? Wait. I thought... I thought, what? uh... The Jags were... Tight... Not Titans. Tennessee. <laughs> I thought the... I thought Jacksonville was... Ten Jackson, Tennessee? Jackson, Wait. Tennessee? Am I right? Is there like a Jackson, Tennessee? I don't think so. I've never heard of a Jackson, Tennessee. Are you kidding? I think <laughs> there's like um well Jacksonville, Florida. I know that that's the Jaguars. I always thought when I was younger, since I have relatives in Oregon and Florida, I used to mix those up. And they're on the other side. Of exactly. Okay, we can get off topic. Yeah, we off can, topic. That's off topic. That's off topic. Anyway, um I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. My yeah, dude? it's your fault and only your fault. Oh. Yeah, it was my fault. Okay, so... Oh. I think, um... Who do you think is, like, overhyped this season? Like, just one player, specifically. One player? Who's overhyped. What's that... New... Not new... But it's like there's one wide receiver. On which team? What's his name? I think he, he plays for the Jags. The Jags? He's like a new one. He is? One player that I know is overhyped is probably Mike Evans. Mike Evans? You think so? Yeah, I really... I just I don't. don't. Or, uh, oh, crap, no, what's no, his no. name? Oh, no. No way I forget his name. What? He played, uh, on the Texans, not DeAndre Hopkins, but the oh, other one. It JJ was like. What? So, no, a uh, wide receiver. It was like something, something, the third. I know it was the third. And he had, like, blonde tips and stuff. Alright, hold up. I don't. Okay. <laughs> this is. I'm gonna sound really dumb if I'm wrong, but. And I, I don't remember which team this guy plays on. Deshaun Jackson? Okay, buddy. What does he play on? Desha Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. There was a Deshaun Jackson, though, right? I think he played on the Eagles, but I also kind of think he played on the... I think Deshaun Watson is what I was thinking of. Lamar Jackson? He's on the Ravens. I know that. Yeah. The Ravens uh, are in Baltimore. I live really close to Baltimore. Why are you exposing where you live? Huh? Not exposing where I live. Are anybody, you kidding? Anybody could Never mind. Live. No, no, didn't say. Are you kidding me? I didn't say. <laughs> anybody could live really close to Baltimore. You might live really close to Baltimore, and you just don't know it, Aiden. I live close to your mom. Okay, we're off topic like 19 again. 19 hours. Okay, yeah, um... Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Okay, that was cool, though. That was... <laughs> Okay, this okay. is off topic, but that was off cool. topic. <laughs> off topic. All right, so, um, so basically, um, I think one player who I think everyone is who everyone thinks is overhyped, but I don't think he's overhyped, is Patrick Mahomes. I think like people in group chats have been telling me stuff like he's overhyped. Well, he's... I mean, there are also a bunch of Redskin fans. Oh, yeah, that's I mean. true. Come on, bro. You guys got your quarterback that's 
legs now broken from us. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, like, there are a few teams like the Seahawks where I only like them because... No, I think the Seahawks are so overhyped. I you think so? do not think Russell Wilson's good at all. You don't like, think so? At all. I think he is good. At I think he's all. really good. I think he's. Like, this is he's so many people are gonna be so mad at me, but I don't think he's good at all. Honestly, I I only like the Seahawks because of um the tiniest no, connection, like the tiniest connection that I have with them, which is my mom's cousin used to live in Seattle. And your I'm mom's more, cousin's aunt's grandma. No, my mom's cousin, uh, who actually died of cancer, which is really sad. But anyway, um, she used to live in Seattle, and, uh... I was actually gonna laugh for a second, then my brain started working. <laughs> uh, oh, I left. Anyway, um, basically, I, I'm one of those manipulative bandwagons where I'll find the tiniest connection, and then I'll make it seem legitimate. But not on the Chiefs, because he was born and raised. Yeah, I was I was born in Missouri, and I was I lived there for five years. I'm about to move back there because my dad is in the military. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, boy. Okay, here we go. Anyway, um. What else but is yeah, I don't even like know anyone on the. Oh, Marshawn Lynch, overhyped as crap. You think Over, so? You think so? Yes. He's too old, too rusty. I don't know about him. I don't know about him, but I'm hailing 22. <laughs> okay, buddy. Now you're singing <laughs> random songs. Yeah, I'm tired, man. Me too. That's what happens to my brain when I get tired. Yeah, by the way, this is probably a little scuffed because this is like, it's 420 in their time. Yeah, it is four oh in the morning Oh my god, that's right twice. Now. It's four in the morning, which is kind of sad, because we're on Fortnite. Uh, both of us are. Four in the morning. No, and duh. Talking about the NFL. Four in the morning. Doing some podcast for your guys' entertainment. Mm hmm So, yeah, count yourself lucky. Unless you're just watching it because you're like, oh, I'm going to make fun of them. I hate yeah, this. then you should just go live in a butthole. I was gonna say live yeah. in a hole. I was actually about to say live in a hole. That was really close. Anyway, um, I think like basically there are some teams that I think are overhyped, and then there are some that I don't think are overhyped that I think are just hyped enough. And then one of those teams, <laughs> one of those teams would be the Chiefs. Okay, everyone's like they're everyone thinks that they're. Overrated, or not like overrated, but like everyone thinks that um, they're not gonna win another Super Bowl. And everyone there's just... so many people at my school that hate the Chiefs. Like, really? I swear you'll find one in every hundred person that's a Chiefs fan at my school. There are even some though kids, we like... we live like right by it. There are some kids at my school that have no connections with the Chiefs, but are that uh, like bandwagons. Like I was a bandwagon when I was in fifth grade for the Eagles when they won the Super Bowl. Um, and I, I didn't know, like... Well, that's not really bandwagon. No one wants the Patriots to win. Yeah, no, I mean, like, after the Super Bowl, I was still, like, I liked the Eagles. That was because <laughs> I didn't really know the Eagles that well. And, um, I just thought they were, like, really, really good. I don't know why. why I'm not, they, I'm not saying... because they beat the Patriots in the Yeah, they Super beat Bowl. the Patriots in the Super Bowl. And that was what made me think that, uh... That I was so happy, I not as happy as when the Chiefs happy. won though. Um, oh yeah, when I was I was really excited. Um, I had a box of cookies just and I ate the entire thing. They were like these Valentine's Day <laughs> cookies. Just so you know, Jaken is not fat at all. My man no. is like sticks and bone. He needs to eat those cookies. All right, whatever. Anyway, um, so basically, I was texting my friend Charlie the whole time. The Super Bowl was on. And we were like celebrating and stuff, and then we were making fun of the um, the halftime show, which was I think I didn't watch it. Yeah. I did not watch it. I never watch it anymore. After freaking, the after I saw the Katy Perry one in like 2016, I never wait, was watched that, it anymore. Wait, Katy Perry? That was the one with um the Patriots versus the Seahawks, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I, did, I stopped watching halftime because they got just really bad. Yeah, honestly, I watched it just because. I don't know why. Uh, Charlie went to go make some tea. <laughs> and then, uh, Some which, tea? Yeah, which is like, who drinks tea? Um, uh, no offense to any of you British viewers. What the heck? <laughs> we but, were that close to the ground? Yeah. Anyway, um, I've never actually been to a football game. Like, not, like... I've never, Your boy has every year. Every year, yeah. So Chiefs I'm trying game. to, I'm trying to convince my dad to take me and my brother to a Redskins game just to be at a game, and then I would. Oh crap! <gasps> yeah, but I just want to go to a game because it's like my dad. He's been to a game, um, and he says it's it's like it's cool, but at the same Bro, time, you... you don't know what's really happening because without an announcer, it's like and replays. And sometimes it's hard to know what's happening. Did you have that problem when you went, Aiden? No, it's so fun. Like, it's fun. You get yeah, to yell like, with the crowd. I you get, get to, to yell without getting cheat. yelled at. Cheats, seats. That seems fun. My brother and dad went to a hockey game one time when I was uh, I was in like second grade, and they got cotton candy and hot dogs. <laughs> and that's all I really wanted in life because I was like eight. So I was really upset, and I did I didn't go because I thought it was gonna be boring. Oh yeah, I, I, Mason loves hockey. I don't personally like it when yeah, you know those Canadians hit different. I kind of think it's boring. Um, I'll watch it sometimes. <gasps> oh, are like, you? I have a my dad, my mom and dad have like a British friend. I'll watch it, and when I watch it, I watch uh the Pittsburgh Penguins, Penguins gang. Mason Crosby, you already know. My mom and dad have a British friend named Stevie, and he watches hockey, so sometimes I'll watch it. Um, like, because mm -hmm. we go to his house, and it'll be on sometimes. I would never think a British person watching hockey. Yeah, he Not watches it. I would usually think of him sipping tea and watching some football. Maybe he's a fake British person. <laughs> I don't know. <think> so. <laughs> fake. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I don't think anyone is gonna get traded out of the Chiefs. I think. Um, Sammy Watkins almost left. Really? Why? Yeah. Why? Because we needed need more money for um. Who did we need money for? I think it was Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill. I don't know. Could have been Patrick Mahomes. Kelsey, Kelsey's might get traded next year. No. This is this is his last year contract with us. Please no. Did we just trade? I think we did. I don't I either. He is my favorite player on the team. He is my favorite player too. We got to make like one of those videos that they made for OBJ. I think when he was like thinking about leaving the Giants and he left anyway. But anyway, they made like one of. I remember seeing this one video, and it was like all these fans with his jersey on. And they were like, no, don't leave, we love you. And then he left and basically flipped them all off. OBJ was so old, like, I think he's overhyped, to be honest. I, no, no, just, yeah, he's he had, made, like, the worst he, seasons of his life on the Browns. He, uh, I think, like, he told, a, like, a reporter or something that he hated it because he never gets passed yeah. to. And he just, Bro, like... but imagine being Antonio Brown... Such a good receiver, and then just threw his life away. Yeah. Literally just threw it away. As soon as he got, who did he like, get traded? Uh, he got traded to the Raiders, and he hated it. So he just like, threw his life away. That's the kind of he thing got, that happens. Get, like, you get you. Got, you can talk. He got traded to the Patriots. He lasted one game, then he <laughs> went and did something stupid. Went to the Raiders. I think everybody thought that OBJ was gonna like change the Browns and make them awesome. Yeah, yeah. same with uh, what's her quarterback's name? Uh, buh, buh, Baker Mayfield. Yeah, yeah, Baker Mayfield. Um, and is that um, is wait Josh is he Landry. still is he still the quarterback? The, like Browns were so overhyped last year. Wait, is he still their quarterback? I think so. Oh, I think that's what's gonna happen with the Buccaneers. I think they're gonna be super overhyped, and then because they got all these good players, and then they're just gonna fail, and it's gonna be like, oh god. I have a and neighbor. We're gonna be laughing. All the Chiefs fans are gonna Browns be laughing. Fan. 
I have a my neighbor Charlie is a huge Browns fan. He um he is about to move to Cleveland actually because or not Cleveland, I think it's just Ohio. But I think, I think it was my second year going to a Chiefs game that I went and watched the Browns. We sat behind a bunch of Browns fans. Dang it. They cussed the whole time. Really? And we're drinking. Oh. No, but anyway, um, he has like all these Miles Garrett shirts, and he has like a jersey and stuff. Oh. He really loves Miles, Miles Garrett, Garrett. Beat the crap out of Mason yes! Rudolph. Yes, I saw that, that was so that was... funny. That was so funny. He yeah, hit him with his helmet. So hard. That now it's called the Miles Garrett move. Because <laughs> I, I hate, I just hate the Steelers. The Chiefs have always lost the playoffs to the Steelers when uh, what's his face? I don't like the Ben Roethlisberger. Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown, the three Bs, the big mm -hmm. Bs, played with each other. They always defeated the Chiefs, and it would make me so mad every year. A and they finally split up, and ah, now like they don't flying, even go anymore. Stupid Nat, get out of here. It's like flying around my the face. The big question is, is the Patriots going to even go to the Are playoffs this year? Are they going to be okay? Yeah, like, seriously, without Tom Brady? I mean, wasn't he, like, their guardian, keeping them in the playoffs? Yeah, him and Julian Edelman. But they're both gone now. Bro, I won't. They lost Julian? No way. No I way. I think did. they did. I'm pretty sure they did. Did they? Hold up. Gonna... I'm going to look it up after this gonna... kill. Are we going to have to look it up now? I'm sure they did. I'm not sure they did, but I think they did. I swear, I thought I heard it somewhere. Like Julian Edelman retiring. Maybe it was a rumor. I don't know. I mean, I remember when Gronkowski retired, and I was like, oh my god, finally the Patriots aren't going to be so good. Uh, I was wrong. So, because yeah. uh, back then I thought that Grab Count, Ron, uh, Gronk was like the best player they had. And I was no, like, he's not leaving. He isn't? Oh, I thought he was leaving. Maybe it was a rumor that I saw. Oh, I saw this one video on April Fools, and it was like Aaron Rodgers leaving the uh, Packers, and it was like April Fools. But I think it's actually gonna happen now. Packers is close. Like I'd like more teams in the NFL. Not what am I on in the NFC and in the AFC? But my favorite team is the Chiefs. Like, yeah. my top three teams are Chiefs, Saints, then Packers. I have a neighbor who really likes the Packers. And um, he has, like, this one Aaron Rodgers jersey. And Aaron Rodgers is still really good. I don't know why they... Uh, he's they... so underrated. Yeah, and, and they, they signed Jordan Love when he's still there. Like, what the heck? Why? They did that to Brett Favre, too, when they signed um, Aaron Rodgers. Brett Favre was basically pushed out of the Packers. That's what they're doing to yeah, I feel, I feel um, like this. Aaron yeah. Rodgers. And Brett Favre was really good. He is the best Hail Marier. I don't know if that's a word, but it's going to be after Drew this Brees thing. Drew Brees has insane because, aim. I think yeah, each but, quarterback brings a different thing to the table. Like, Patrick Mahomes has these insane angles. He can throw at any angle. And, and then, uh, Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers have insane aim. Aim, yeah, seriously. And then, yeah, especially with uh, Aaron Rodgers' Hail Marys, bro. Yes. He always he hits, hits every those. Time. And then um, Tom Brady, he's just like a combination of a lot of them, I guess. I like Jimmy Graham when he played on the Saints. Yeah, me too. And then... Um, Who's he play on now? I don't even know. Is it the Packers? I think it's the Packers. I, I think he played for one year on the Packers. Did he? Yeah, and he caught a Hail Mary from Aaron Rodgers. Probably. <laughs> I mean, I would think so. Cause... I think he retired, actually. Did you know, uh, what's his name? Um, who are we just talking about? We're talking Jimmy about... Graham. Jimmy Graham, yeah. I remember, um... He plays for the Chicago Bears. The Bears? Why the Bears? I think the Bears, like... Are one of those teams that Bear, Bears got overrated too. As soon as they got Khalil Mack, there was so many people that traded over to the Bears too. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, some teams are just gonna be bad forever. 
You know, like the Browns. <laughs> you'll you'll never see the Browns win a Super Bowl. I mean, they were really good in the fifties, but I don't I don't think they'll be good again. You'll never see the Patriots win anything anymore. I mean, I don't know about that. I mean, do they wait? Did they even have another quarterback? I don't know who they got. They well, they traded for someone. They traded. They did. They traded. But why? Who did they get? Why? Why would they? Oh wait, no, he was free agent. Never mind. But they had to get a quarterback, right? Yeah, they they're quarterbackless right now, aren't they? Nah. Who do they have? They had to. They had to like pick someone. Up. Are they drafting someone? The drafts are over. Oh yeah, the drafts are over. But like, did they draft someone? I'm pretty sure. They All right, did. Hold if on. Should I look they it up? They should have. I'm looking it up. All right. I mean, if the Patriots drafted someone, he's got to be pretty good. He's obviously not going to replace Tom Brady. I'm looking. Though. Don't the Patriots have like a ton of money? Oh my god, Cam Newton popped up. I was like, what? <laughs> he's still on the it. Panthers. Like, he's going to be on the Panthers for like forever. Oh, that's another team I have a connection with. The Panthers. I have um, relatives that live in Carolina. They got Brian Lewerk. Brian Lewerk? Yeah. No. I have no idea. I don't know who he Never is. Never heard of him, so hopefully he's not that good. Oh yeah, I I, Cause I, don't, I I don't watch college football unless it's like LSU once in a while. Yeah, I don't watch college football. I I kind of want to though, just like because it's 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 football. And if I see someone and I remember the name, then maybe I'll be like, oh, I used to watch him play college football. He's in the NFL. I think my dream job wouldn't be the NFL. It would actually. Oh, you know who's an underrated team? What? The Broncos. I think the Broncos, what? I mean, I guess... Once they got Drew Locke in, like, oh my god, did I really just forget who their starter quarterback was? I think I did too. He played, he played for the freaking Ravens before. I thought he was going to be... Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco. I thought he was going to... Yeah, I thought he was going to play for the trying... Ravens forever, dude. I did too. I mean, when they when they drafted Lamar Jackson, I was like kind of happy because he's really good. He's like really fast. He's yeah, a running he's back, back though. Like, why are you playing quarterback, man? That's why he's like, so on, fast. Dude. He like runs all the time. His they play... have Mark Ingram though. I think like, with his play they... style, I think with his play style, he's going to get injured. He's always like Well, yeah, he's... I mean He's always like bashing into people. He's bound to get us. But like, why run when you have Mark Ingram the third? The Mark same... Ingram's a goaded. I think um, at one point, like um, Travis Kelsey might get injured because I see him. He like runs right through people. Oh yeah, he loves running through people. Same thing. That's what happened to the Bronk, the Gronk before he got his back hurt or something. He's like run through people. So I'm afraid Travis Kelsey's gonna hurt himself, and then he's gonna not be able to play a season. Who else season. remembers Travis Kelsey when he had anger issues? I don't remember that TV show that he had the real the reality dating thing. I saw. I never on, watched that. I didn't but, watch it, um, but I saw it on YouTube. The other I have day. a clip. Well, not a clip, but like I have a thing that I remember. If you're a true Chiefs fan, you'll probably remember this too. What? He took off, you know, like the sweat rag they use to wipe off their hands or something. Mm -hmm. He took that out of his pocket and threw it at the ref when really? he got ejected, and he oh, ejected yeah. the ref. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Um, I saw that clip. That was like, I remember thinking, like, what are you doing? Yeah, that's when he had anger issues. Now he's good. He's he's gotten way better about his anger issues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think, um, what's an underhyped player that you, like, you think is, like, underrated right now? Drew Locke, probably. Drew Locke? I don't know. I think, like, Bye. what was that What was that dude's name? Do you even know how to pronounce, like, the Dolphins quarterback's name? Toa Tugavala. I don't, I don't know. Wait, hold on. Let me see what it is. It was, it like, is. some sort of Hawaiian name. 
I'm gonna put you in a box and keep you. Harrison, my friend, uh, said he was really good. Yeah, he is pretty good. Um, I just don't know how to pronounce his name. It was like Toa... Togavala or something. It was a weird name. Oh, I mean, it's not a weird name. It's Hawaiian. Oh, yeah, that is very weird. It's not... Toa... Toa... <laughs> they have to play the Chiefs, lol. Do you think we're gonna crush them? Toa Tago Viola. Tago Viola? It looks like Viola, but it's probably Viola. Yeah, Viola. Yeah, I, I think so. The freak! Yeah. Um, How long has this been going on for? I don't know, maybe like 30 minutes by now. Well, isn't creative like four hours usually? Yeah, oh my god, so it's been going for like... I, I, like I, I, 45 think it's like, minutes? No, but that's just how long we've been in here. We started it kind of later though, right? Because we were getting ready. So it's been like 30 minutes. Crap, we should have we should have checked. Yeah. Should we start wrapping it up or what? I think so, but hold up. First, I want to say one thing. Do you think Joe Burrow is going to live up to the hype? <laughs> With the such trash team that it's on, I feel like he'll live up to the hype, but not his team. I think he, like, I think he's gonna kind of flip up to the hype. Like, he's really good, but the thing is, he does not have a good team. So, I think yeah, he's gonna I'm shape saying. him up a little bit, he's gonna get him to the playoffs. He's gonna give him a confidence boost, definitely. Yes, yes, yeah. And then their, their fans, like, are gonna, um... They're gonna get a lot more fans. Yeah, they're gonna get a lot of bandwagons, and then I think like well, and and if you're an LSU fan, you're probably a Bengals fan. Yeah. No. Probably no. And then I think um like Joe Burrow, it's it's hard because he has kind of a crappy team that he got. I feel like that's a really coach name, like Joe Burrow. I think he's like gonna become like a coach. I think he'll become a yeah. coach. Yes, yeah, Joe Burrow, that's, that's just, that's you can't like pass up name. a coach name like that. Wait, so you know some coaches like Andy Reid. Um, the thing is, do all coaches, like, did they play football at one point? I don't know. I don't know I can't if Andy Reid or, or I can't imagine Andy Reid playing football. I don't know. That would be funny, though. I think he probably just, like, you know, after the Super Bowl, he was he probably, said, I feel like he would be a defensive lineman. Yeah, you know how he said um, how he said Andy Reid said that he was gonna get the biggest cheeseburger you've ever seen, uh, he's ever seen. Was that when uh, his speech like when they won? Yeah, when Did they won the Super that? Bowl. When they won the Super Bowl. Yeah. He said that he was gonna get the biggest cheeseburger you've ever seen. I think. Did you see been... uh, Travis Kelsey drink beer down the Lombardi Trophy? Uh, was that the parade? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Did you see, like... Funny. He was, was high. Remember. Well, not high, but, like, really <laughs> drunk. I remember, um, like... Oh, my God. Right after the Super Bowl? Like, when the confetti starts coming down. Like, that's so much confetti. Do you think the 49ers... Did they have the 49ers colored confetti in there? Yep, yep. yep. They, Dude, they have both so much confetti. confetti. And each... They have the same amount of confetti in each cannon. Like, that's and so much money. I bet that's like $100,000 for confetti. I and mean, they're not even they going to use it. They can pay for it. You know how much people NFL, buy those yeah. tickets. And they buy those jerseys from the NFL yeah. shop. And, yeah, yeah, I guess... I'm pretty sure the players, players get the money for their jerseys. Yeah, the players get money for their jerseys. Well, they get like... I think they'd get like 30% or like something. That's think, why they get paid so like much. Half. They get paid so much because obviously they're professional football players, and also because they get thirty percent of the jerseys. And if they're really hyped up and they're really good, then like they're Travis get a lot Kelsey, of yeah, and Patrick Mahomes. It's like Patrick Mahomes jerseys like sold out on everything. I tried to look for it, but I couldn't find it. So I got Travis Kelsey's jersey, which is good I would always get a Travis awesome. Kelsey one first. You think so? I have a picture painted of someone, my grandpa got someone to paint me a picture of Patrick Mahomes. Hmm. 
and it looks really good. Like, I, and uh, I'm trying to get Patrick Mahomes to sign it. Like, when I go to a game or something. I'm wait, how do you, how do you get them to sign things? Like, you gotta go to game? their um, what is it called? You gotta go to their training. Are you allowed to? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Dude, that's what I wanted like to do. Like spring training? I have this one puzzle. It's like a Patrick Mahomes puzzle. And I, I, wanted to, I wanted to like put it together, glue it, put it in a frame, and get him to sign it. But like I thought that wouldn't be possible. Um, But I guess I can. I already have a signature, though. I have this one of... um, He's like this dude I have on the Dolphins. I one of Marcus Peters. I have this one from uh, um. this dude named Cam Jordan Cameron. He's on the Dolphins. It's like in a. I had um, I've won from Marcus Peters. It was like the defensive time, like it was the defense got to sign autographs and stuff that day. So I got Marcus Peters. I got Tom Bahali, the main man that used to, with the black visor. Look him up. He looks like a beast. <laughs> Uh, I went to this one, like, Royals convention with my friend Jimmy, and I think he got, like, a Royals player's autograph. I didn't. Oh, Jimmy? Bro, Jimmy is cracked. Jimmy's really good at Fortnite. But, anyway, um, I would like to get a Chiefs player's autograph. I looked on this, like, one website that was selling autographs, uh, and basically... I saw this but one... But it's not as good as getting it in yeah, real life. Yeah, when you like... get it in real life, you feel so good. My dad is friends with this one race car guy, he's super famous. I got a picture with Travis Kelsey You're a while ago. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. My grandpa is it like took framed? a picture. It's not framed. Is it like on a phone? Like that's, dude, that's ask so my cool grandpa though. if he has it or something. That is really cool. And you're like, is he like holding, is he like, what is what is he doing? Is he like, his arms around he's him? A, he's like, no, that's a little weird. Um, oh, we're standing by e each other and he's, we're both smiling. That's so cool. That's why I want to go to a football game. Just so I can get a picture like, I, or an autograph. I don't know if you guys know, but it's rare that you guys get, to, if anyone gets to see me smile. Yeah. <laughs> like the only time I smile is around Allison and what, bro, I smiled so long when the Chiefs won. <laughs> you didn't like laugh or scream, you just smiled. <laughs> That's oh, Aiden. I scream. Don't worry. Like, Aiden screams all the time. Anyway, um, yeah, so basically, I want to go to a Redskins game just so I can be at a game because I've never been to a game. Um, I, I was at a baseball game one time. It was like a local game when I lived in Kansas. It was like a local team when I lived in Kansas. And uh, Jimmy was like a huge fan of the team. So he was trying his hardest to catch a ball. And he went to this one part where the balls kept going. And then he left, <laughs> and I caught a ball where we were. <laughs> it was really funny. Um, but then um, when the game was over, this, like, ball boy tossed him a ball. And then and then that was, like, the last time I saw Jimmy before he moved to Virginia. And I moved to Virginia. So he signed it, and he gave it to me. And I signed my ball and gave it to him. Take me home. Anyway, I think that basically kind of wraps it up. I mean, do you have anything else, anything else to discuss? Um, Travis Kelsey's better than anyone else. You guys are amazing if you sub. If you don't, um, if you watch till the end, sub right now. Definitely, yeah. Uh, if you if watch, you watch so till the end, you give us your epic name. We'll probably play with you sometime. Well, maybe yeah, it depends. <laughs> maybe. Um. Don't make promises. We should do like we should do like a, like a. A stream where we play with subs. Oh, I think I just, like in a oh. year or something, I'm gonna do a video like on a bucket list stuff. And I know that's kind of a long time to wait, but yeah, because in a year I'm gonna move out of Virginia and into. Uh, One of your bucket lists should be like a uh, go to a Chiefs game. That is actually the first thing on my bucket list. The second thing is live in a house with a pool, which I am trying to get mom, my mom, to do. She so she's like on the line because she thinks that having a pool is a lot of work. You got to clean the because when she was a kid she had a pool, and um she said it's a lot of work. But I'm trying to convince her that I'll do the work. Is this like, mine? For an allowance. Oh, that's yeah. Allison's. Oh no, I lost all for, my like, guns. For like an allowance, and I'm I'm just like trying that because 
house having a house like with a pool is awesome because you get to like if you're bored you just go outside and take a swim yeah i have a pool no, yeah you no have a pool. flex no <laughs> flex no. aiden has a pool i've always wanted a pool in my house dang it my cool and stuff messed up we found this one house with a pool and i was I wanted my mom to buy it. The Storm said, Scout sniper is annoying as crap. She said that we're crap. not gonna buy until we move, and I'm like, then why are we looking at houses? Anyway, I'm off topic. <laughs> no, I'm not. Actually, the thing's over. Okay, well, if you guys have watched till the end, then like, subscribe. Use code uh, laser in the item shop. That's laser beams code. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, definitely go ahead and go in the comments and comment different ideas like what we should discuss next i think we basically went over the entire nfl thing and if you think there's more that we should add like we could do a part two and so, if yeah. you want anyone to join our our podcast like camp harry, harry mason yeah we can have a lot of people join even us. yourself Psych, yeah, if you want to know about well that. i mean maybe maybe <laughs> depends if, uh, yeah, yeah like, you can chat live yeah, we can make a live stream. Just comment down below if you want to see that. Um, or if you want to even, like, give us your epic ID just, like, for one game, and then you can be in one of our videos. Or one of my videos. It's not Aiden's channel. And, um, yeah. So, And I guess... are you... Well, okay, Aiden's gonna rage now. Bye for now, I guess. Wow, that was... Before I break something... That was really insecure. Bye. All right, here's the real one. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. We have to say it in sync. Ready? Three, two, one. Good Goodbye. Bye. That's like our thing. That's what we do.